G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Just wanted to do a video here. I've been working on my firewall here. Now we all know it's my IBM E7 325. I call it my firewall because that's exactly what it does. And um, I've, I love PFSense. Don't get me wrong, I love it. However, my dear friend at his computer company today has uh, suggested I have a look at another firewall which he believes is better than Untangled and just as good as PFSense. Its name? Sophos UTM9. And I've got to be honest with you, the little bit of testing I've done so far, I am pleasantly surprised actually. I really haven't trusted Sophos uh, for a, quite a few years now, quite a number of years actually. Uh, for my own personal reasons, I did not trust them whatsoever. However, my friend who at his computer company has been trying to convince me for the last week to have a look at it. And I was very skeptical because I'm thinking, well, Sophos, I've had bad run with them in the past. I don't really feel like you know, trying again. However, I've been proven wrong. This UTM9 firewall system, which you can download and uh, play around with, is something I am actually quite surprised about. The amount of features and functions available with the free one is tremendous. Now, I'll do a more detailed video about it later, but I can tell you what, you know, it gives you all this. Um, you have all your, you'll see here I've got all my Ethernet set up running, which is good. And I can always edit that as I see fit. I can rename them, I can clone them. I can trunk the cards as well. So if I go back to here, I can actually trunk Ether 1 and 2 for a 2 gigabit connection or... I can set up a failover where Ether 3 and Ether 4 are failover. So if Ether 3 goes down, Ether 4 comes up. I've got to be honest with you. So far, I'm pleasantly surprised with this from Sophos because, as I said, I don't trust them. Um, I haven't really trusted them for some time. But from what I can see, it's actually really good. The installation process was about as quick as a normal... Um, Linux firewall is uh, certainly not as quick as PFSense but from a user friendly point of view being Linux this is actually quite easy to use um, I'm not overly sure whether I'll stick with it time will obviously tell once I get everything up and running in here again but so far I am quite impressed you'll see there that it doesn't take up a lot of uh, space on the hard drive i'm on a 36 gig u320 scuzzy drive so it's actually only taken up just over half the drive which i think is actually fairly good you'll see here i've got firewalling intrusion prevention web filtering i've got all these which i can enable as per i want now this is the uh free download one with the home license but I've got to be honest with you people, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised actually because it just seems a bit more intuitive. It seems a little, hell of a lot better to, to use. You've got a, all the um, importing ability here. Live log messages of everything going on. So you can look it up. You see there I've got a port that failed to resolve, which is, that's good. You've got full link capability. So, I've got to be honest with you people, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. You'll see I've got antivirus and endpoint protection. I've got high availability cluster if I want it. A web admin firewall, web applications. I've got remote access, site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. So, in all honesty, I'm, I'm so far very impressed. Now, as I said, I'll do a fully detailed video on it uh, later on. But I just thought I'd get a video out today because... Well, let's face it, I haven't done many videos lately, so I thought we'd better get back to the daily videos. So, I'm pretty much pleasantly surprised. Anyway, quick video for you there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.